Everyone gets so oh, tired. There's just going to be another pastry in What a treat. About the weather. I just flipping saw Abby Lee Miller in H&M in Oxford Street just having a good old natter to someone couldn't believe it anyway I picked up lunch and I'm gonna go home Hello, hello. What a day it has been. I am back at home now. Um, it was a very, very hectic start this morning. As I already mentioned, what are you looking for? She looks very, are oh, you looking for to give me kisses? Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, it was a very, very hectic start for the day. Um, but I've had a great old time browsing in London. First of all, Abby Lee Minner. I go to the strip club and who do I see? Abby Lee Miller. That was a real shock to the system. Um, you know when you're like, I know that voice. I know that voice. And then I turned around and she was just there having a chin wag. It's the most peculiar scenario. I just wasn't anticipating it. Um, and I also saw, I actually met quite a few lovely viewers today. Um, so shout out if I saw you. I'm not going to mention names because I never know if people want their name being mentioned or not. But anyway, um, we went to the new Chestnut Bakery. I actually wrapped up a few of the things that we didn't finish, but they are a bit squished now. So there was a cinnamon bun, there's half an almond croissant, and there was this lovely croissant for focaccia, which is like their sustainable way of using up their croissants, I think, that don't get eaten. So that was kind of delicious. Um, and now I come home, I actually need to sort out my bedroom because we have people staying and they're gonna stay in my room because I'm away this weekend. Um, so I need to sort my bedroom. I also need to pack for the weekend. I also need a big fat glug of water. You know when you don't have water in the morning? Because obviously I was in such a rush, I didn't get any water. Um, and now I am like triple, triple, triple times thirsty because I didn't drink barely any water yesterday, so. <sighs> I'm all disheveled, like my shirt's all hanging up. I actually did a little bit of a clear out of my clothes the other day and I got rid of a few bits. You know when you just look at something and you're like, as much as I love you, such my heart, my heart wants you in my life, but you are falling apart and it's time to say goodbye. I parted with a few bits. I also thought I'd show you. I don't always show everything I get sent because I want to make sure that they're things that I genuinely love, but I got sent this, not an ad or anything, they just gifted it to me and oh my word, oh! Where's the peanut butter gone? So these are cinnamon rolls, but they've got like an almond butter filling in the middle. They are so, so good. If you like almond butter and you like cinnamon rolls, you'll love that. But the, the real pinnacle, the pinnacle of joy was this. You are gonna lap this up. I feel like a lot of you are like me and you like a nut butter and you like a cinnamon bun. Look at that. It is cinnamon butter a cinnamon scroll almond butter i cannot wait to try this because pip and not did bring out like i think it was um what was it a blueberry muffin almond butter and sweet mother of pearl it was delicious i literally was obsessed with it it was obviously limited edition so um i didn't get to it's it's stopped it's discontinued now which is a bit of a bummer because i can't have it in my life um so anyway let's go and tidy my room let's get started sort that out Try and sort out some clothes, pack a few bits. I actually like need to do a genuine deep clean, like dust, hoover. You know when someone's saying in your room, you need it to be. I need it to be good. I might put on a film. I kind of am in the mood to watch Eat, Pray, Love. Kind of a nice chill one. There's so much stuff in my room. I don't actually know where to begin. <laughs> it's quite overwhelming really, but I'm sure I can figure out. Come on Grace, where should we begin? Um, why don't I pack first? Because I know that I don't know whether to bring a suitcase. Right, I'm going Friday to Sunday. That's three days. Is that suitcase worthy or is that... Banksy! Banksy! Thank you. You're not allowed to do that and you know you're not allowed to do that. Why don't I pack first, see how many clothes I have, and then we can assess the situation. 
I'm having some problem. Banksy, what's with the scratching? We don't do that here. It's not cool, it's not clever, and it's not funny. Thank you, but I tell you what is cool, clever, and funny? You, you beauty. Um, I'm kind of staring at things that I don't know. I don't know where to even begin. I shared in my story, I was like, do you think I like blue? Because look how much blue I have in my wardrobe. It's an actual, it doesn't look too blue heavy, but there's just like a lot of blue happening because I love blue. The issue at hand when I'm packing is everything I like is like big knitted woolly jumpers. Like look how big and woolly and chunky this is. So that takes up like half my suitcase. Have a moment of appreciation. Whoops. For the Dyson cordless. It is. Sorry, I keep accidentally pressing it. It's the most genius invention ever. I love it and I will never stop shouting about it and it makes me want the Dyson Air app so bad. I just think that because I can't do hair to save my life that the Dyson Air app would be the most appropriate thing for me because I can actually curl my hair. I would like to wear my curl hair. I'd like to wear my hair curled, but I just can't because I don't know how to do it. So, um, but it's so expensive. I actually went to buy one. I was this close, like so close. And then I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to buy it. Um, but maybe when it's my 25th birthday, maybe I'll treat myself. A present from myself to myself. I really want one man. I really do. Anyway. Also, whilst I'm cleaning up, I just came across my little Lululemon fanny pack, which I swear by. Swear by. It's honestly so good, especially if you're going away. Because you can just wear it like this. I mean, you can also wear it like an actual belt as well around here because you can like change the back of it it's genuinely amazing they have different colors um but today one of the viewers i met she was wearing it and i was like is that the lululemon fanny pack and she was like yeah i was influenced by you and i just couldn't get my head around that that someone actually bought the lululemon backpack because of fanny pack because of me so um love you <laughs> i've got a little life hack for you i'm just honestly like going through all my clutter as i'm going through my clutter i keep forgetting that I have a hot water right here to drink. But I've popped it on the radiator, which means the radiator is keeping it nice and warm. Little hack for you, if you often forget about your drink, pop it on the radiator whilst it's warm, and then it will just keep it, keep it nice and roasty toasty for you. About to make dinner. This isn't an ad, this isn't sponsored, promise. I will always say if something's an ad or sponsored. Um, but for dinner, I'm gonna be making this from Gusto, and I just, I genuinely love Gusto. This, I know I talk about it all the time, um, but this is a 10 minute meal. Um, I just love a quick little meal to make. So I'm just gonna get all the ingredients together. That's supposed to be a 10 minute recipe and it's taken me about 10 minutes to cut all of these shades in my face. And yeah, I have seen the hack where you put the plate and then you like cut through them like this, but it doesn't work for me. Um, it's, too, it's too risk heavy. I've already smashed a whole jar, a Pyrex jar today. So I don't want any more risk, thank you very much. And she is beautiful. Hello Angel, so we've had our dinner. I've got a really itchy face at the moment. I don't know, what, I think I'm having an allergic reaction to something, but I don't know what it is. Me and Banks are just here. Oh, she said bye. Some hot chocolate fudge cake left from Mother's Day yesterday. And then I've also just made, I actually need to get them out of the oven. I was testing out a, a recipe. I've really been spending a lot of time on Grack snacks lately, um, which I've been really enjoying and it makes me feel very fulfilled and I just really like it. Um, so I will test out a chocolate chip cookie recipe. And we have some chocolate chip cookies, but I still feel like it needs, needs a little bit of tweaking, you get me? So you probably all guessed what I'm gonna do next, a little bath moment. I can explain how much I love baths. Like they just bring me the biggest amount of joy. It's obscene. Even just watching the bath fill up for me is therapeutic. I'm currently in the bath and I'm about to cleanse my face with Cetaphil. I swear by Cetaphil as a cleanser. I tried CeraVe, it did not work for me. Um, you remember that time of life when everyone was like, CeraVe is the only way to go? No, it didn't work for me. Sometimes it works for other people, it doesn't work for you. Everybody's lived up different. That's the way it was meant to be. So this, so kind on the skin 
and oh did you hear my jaw pop it keeps popping is that a problem i don't know what's going on there and you know like sometimes after you've cleansed it makes your face feel tight doesn't with set feel i'm out of the bath feeling good like i should good morning it's the next day and i think i need to take myself to a coffee shop today because I can sense that my motivation is it's small today. My productivity levels small, very small. Um, if anyone has any like good working from home tips, please let me know because I often hit like a bit of a wall where I can't I can't bring myself to do any more. Um, and the only way I can like get around that is if I change my environment. So I'm gonna have my breakfast and then we're gonna go to a coffee shop. The thing is, it's really annoying. Like I don't actually wanna buy a drink at the coffee shop, but I have to, to be able to sit in. Um, and obviously my favorite drink is a hot water and then they think that I'm taking the mickey and they think that I'm just trying to get a free seat and a free drink. When really, I actually truly just like hot water. So um, maybe I should, and I don't really wanna get breakfast at the coffee shop because we have perfectly fine breakfast at home to have so i don't really know what to do but anyway it's so weird because it is so freezing today this time last week it was so warm like 19 degrees one of the days and now it apparently is um there's snow in the air it is forecast as snow and it's like one degree so i don't know what's going on there look at the queen this is her new favorite spot she goes to different spots in the house and this is her current favourite. Those were clean jumpers back because I just forgot to put them away. You're so sweet. You're like a little... Oh, the paws. You are so pretty, aren't you? And you know it though. You know how pretty you are, you little cutie. So we all know I go through different phases of breakfasts. And currently, I am really running with a brioche phase. There's something about brioche which is so flipping comforting. So um, I'm just gonna have some brioche. And this is so yummy. Um, I just keep it in the freezer so that way it doesn't go off. And then I just toast it from frozen. It doesn't look like much, but once it's got some butter on it, it literally smells like a warm hug. Like this is what I imagine a warm hug smelling like. Oh, I, just, I absolutely love it. I'm just obsessed with it at the moment. I just can't get enough. I just don't do that with a knife. People do not do that with a knife. Why is brioche so much more comforting than normal bread, hey? Hey, what's that about? Also, we leave our butter out at room temp, but um, because it's so cold, it's like not even room temp, so it's really hard to spread right now. But I have a fix for that. Not to fret, because what I do, you just put the butter on the warm toast, put it like that, let it melt for a few seconds, and then it's spreadable. Strong as pool. Did I just get distracted and spend about 40 minutes on TikTok? Yeah, yeah, I did. And do you want to know the reason why I have come off of TikTok? Is because there's this really cool feature, right? Where you can get, um, you can get, you can put a passcode on it. So you can either choose to only spend 40 minutes on it, one and a half hours, like, and then you can set it to whatever. So I haven't 40 minutes because realistically, I probably shouldn't be spending any more time on it than 40 minutes. And I was getting addicted severely addicted so what i've done is obviously if i knew the passcode then i would just override it <laughs> so what i've done is i've gotten my friend to set a passcode so she has a clue what it is and i don't have a single clue and um, and i only am allowed 40 minutes on it this is what it looks like and i wish other apps had this because obviously you've got the feature on your phone where you can like set a daily limit but then you can easily just be like okay um go on for it for another three hours or whatever it is um so that i really recommend if you are a little bit addicted to social media and you need some time off of your screen because it genuinely is a real help and i genuinely can't go on it because i refuse to ask my friend what it what the passcode is because that defeats the whole purpose and i really don't need to be spending more than 40 minutes on tiktok in a day all right i don't it's it's not good, but it has a hold on me. I am ready. Backpack, backpack. I'm ready to hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back. I'm freezing. It's freezing outside, and I'm really worried about how cold it is, but I'm just going to roll with it.
actually got so much done. I'm so glad I went. Honestly, it was the best decision that I could have made today. Um, and then, it is honestly freezing. And it's been snowing on and off all morning. So I was just sat there and I was like, mm, what do I want for lunch? And my heart knew. I knew exactly what I wanted. So first of all, I've got some tiger bread, which... Uh, I'm very excited about it. They didn't have my favourite Jason sourdough, so I couldn't get that. But it's fine. We'll skim over it because I've got my favourite soup. This soup is is a splash the cash kind of soup, but it is, out of my research, it is the best chicken soup that a supermarket can offer. And it's this one. The Yorkshire Provender Roast Chicken and Traditional Vegetables Soup. So I'm going to have this for lunch and I'm very excited because it's warming it's cozy and as i wait for my soup to cook i do just want to say a massive thank you for sticking by me because i feel like i've really gained back my sparkle so i'm actually commented oh hello i come in for little snacks and chats with grax is that what's going on here yeah you're gonna have some little chats um, yeah, I feel like after lockdown, I kind of was a bit lost as to like what to do. And I kind of feel like there was this expectation that when lockdown had finished, everything was gonna go back to normal and we'd all just go back to our normal life. But I feel like there has been this real adjustment to kind of like going back to normal life that which took more of a toll than I think I um, anticipated. And I really didn't feel like I had much purpose. And I was kind of like, what the heck am I doing? But I really feel like I've regained my sparkle back and I feel like I'm back. And even like making these daily vlogs, I feel like you can probably tell I'm just feeling so much better and I'm feeling like I have more purpose. And genuinely, you guys, your comments actually just mean the world to me. Like genuinely, I feel so blessed every time I read one of your comments. I just can't believe it. Um, and and just really means the world to me so thank you for sticking by me even when i'm having a bit of a wobbly and i'm maybe not posting the best videos or honestly i genuinely it's getting me a bit emotional i'm so thankful for like what i do and i'm so thankful for the wonderful community of people i have um on my channel so thank you for just being legends i'm really happy and i've, I've just really enjoyed being back in the groove of things thanks you never lost her sparkle did you you just love strokes and chin tickles i can't actually remember if this is the soup or not after all of that i think it is i had my soup it was very yummy and i just got this delivery um now i have been wanting to get these for so long but i just i don't know if i'm gonna be able to pull them off or not but then at the same time if i like them who cares if I can pull them off or not? Um, I know these divide people, I really do. But we all know I'm a comfort queen. If I'm not comfortable, I'm not gonna wear it, quite frankly. Um, and these, I've seen them styled are really cool. Um, and they have been out of stock in my size for so long. And I went when I went into the shop yesterday, a man actually said there's a shortage of Birkenstocks in size eight and nine at the moment. Um, so I couldn't try them on. And I just thought, you know what? I've wanted them for literally three years. Let's just see if I can rock them or not. So I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna see how I go. Um, oh, that's so much better because I tried on the seven yesterday and it was just too small. It was just too small. And I feel like the eight. Matt was trying to convince me for the seven. I was like, sweetheart, I know my feet and that is not. See, okay, I'm gonna need honest opinions. <laughs> I actually like them. No, I do. <laughs> what do we think? I feel like, also, I feel like they're a great travel shoe, by the way, because you know if you don't like, have to get your foot out when you're going to the airport or something. Um, I do like them. And I love the colour because I obviously always wear pastel colours. And they're like, oh, I do like them. They literally fit perfectly. Oh, I think I need them. I'm really, really torn about them. I just sent a picture to my friends, so I'll see what they say. Um, but they are really comfy. I literally live in my black Birkenstocks that I've had. I got them for my 18th birthday, and I'm now 24. That's a long time, and they've lasted really well. Um, so I'm really torn. I feel like I feel like they're a yes. You know, I feel like my heart is saying yes to the Birkenstocks Boston Mules. I feel like the older I get, the more I'm like. Who the heck cares if no one else likes it, but I like it and it makes me happy. You best believe I'm gonna wear it. You know what I mean? Who the stuff cares what other people think?
And that was the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I love you all loads. Peace out, bye.